हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दैट द फोर के जी स्मूथ सिलेंडर इज सपोर्टेड बाय द स्प्रिंग हैविंग स्टिफनेस इक्वल्स टू वन न्यूटन पर मीटर and we are required to determine the velocity of the cylinder when it moves downward as equals to 0.2 meters from its equilibrium position which is caused by the application of the force f equals to 60 newton so before the application of this uh, f equals to 60 newton uh, this cylinder the weight of the cylinder and the spring force will be in equilibrium right so before the application of the external force this will be the cylinder head let's say this is our cylinder so the spring force will be acting vertically upwards and the weight will be acting vertically downwards so the weight is 4 times 9.81 and the spring force will be since we know that the spring force is equal to k and compression right k s so initially let's say that the spring is compressed due to weight is less let's say s not right so then we can say that the spring force will be equal to 120 s not 120 is the st stiffness of the spring which is given k a b right so due to its weight the spring will be compressed s not let's say so then the spring force we can write that the spring force will be equal to 120 s not so at equilibrium if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 right if if this is our positive x and y direction right so then this will be we can say that the spring force will be acting vertically upward so this will be 120 s not minus the weight which is 4 into 9.81 and this will be equal to 0 or from this we can say that the spring force will be in equilibrium with the uh, weight right so if i divide both side of the equation by 120 so we will get that initial compression due to the application of the weight right so if we calculate this so this comes out to be 0.327 meters now when the external force that is uh, 60 newton force is applied right if this is that 60 newton force if 60 newton force is applied that what will happen is that Uh, in the problem statement it is said that this the the distance the cylinder moves is 0.2 meters right so what will happen is that this spring force will increase right and now the spring force will be equal to 120 that is the stiffness times the s not plus s right so now this will be the spring force and what will happen is that the there will be acceleration in the y direction let's say this is a y acceleration so if this is our positive y direction if this is my positive y direction this is my positive x and if it is accelerating in the downward direction then we can say that a y is equal to minus a right the downward direction of the acceleration is negative so now again if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to m a y if we apply the equation of motion right so now as we can see that this spring force is acting in the positive y direction so we can write that this is 120 into s not and s not is 0.327 plus s minus this weight and minus this external force 60 newton force and this will be equal to mass so the mass of the cylinder is 4 kg and ay is minus a right so this is minus a so now if i divide both side of equation by 4 if i divide each term by 4 so the negative acceleration will be equal to 120 divided by 4 is 30 right so we can write that this is 30 and 30 into 0.327 is 9.81 plus this is 30 s and this will cancel out so we will be left with 9.81 
and this will be 60 divided by 4 is 15 right. So, this will be equal to minus a this will cancel out. So, we will be left with 30 s minus 15 equals to minus a and if I divide both sides of equation by minus sign. So, this will become positive. So, from this we can say that acceleration is equal to minus into minus plus 15 minus 30 s. So, this is the acceleration right. So, now from kinematics we know that V d V equals to A d s since the acceleration is a function of s right. So, we can integrate this we can write the acceleration is 15 minus 30 s into d s. So, this is V d V A d s right and now we can integrate this right. So, let me integrate this. So, this will be from 0 to v initially the cylinder was at rest and this will be from 0 to s. So, this will be v square divided by 2 and this will be if, if I integrate this. So, this will become 15 s minus 30 s square divided by 2 and this will be from 0 to s and if I multiply both side of the equation by 2. So, this 2 will cancel out and this will be multiplied by 2 right. So, this is 2 into 15 is 30 s and 2 into minus 30 divided by 2. So, this will become minus 30 s square and from 0 to s and if I put these limits. So, this will become the same equation right. So, this will be 30 s minus 30 s square minus 0 right. So, we will get this and from this I can write 30 outside I can take 30 s common. So, this will be 30 s minus s square equals to v square and then we can take the square root and now if I put s equals to 0 0.2. So, then we will get the velocity which is required right s equals to 0 0.2. So, we need to put s equals to 0.2 in this equation right. So, this is 30 into 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 squared. So, this is equal to 2.19 right. So, the velocity is equal to 2.19 meter per second. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood uh, this problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Also like these videos if you people want me to solve such more problems.